Ben was born on July 10, 1927, to William and Laura Gosel Meinhardt in Bartlett, Minnesota, where his family owned a small farm in the north central part of the state. Ben's family included Della, Ben, Don, Helen, Mother Laura, Father Will, and Lillian. Ben graduated from Bertha High School in 1945. He met Myrna Pipcorn, the local school teacher, when she was renting a room at the Meinhardt Farm. In 1947, Ben moved off the family farm to attend Dunwoody Technical Institute in Minneapolis to study electricity. Soon after, his parents sold the farm, had a big auction, and moved into town, Wadena, Minnesota. On June 27, 1948, Ben married Myrna Pipcorn in Hewitt, Minnesota. Myrna's brothers, sisters, and their spouses became Ben's family and friends. Ben and Myrna moved to South Dakota in 1948, where Ben started in the electrical trade with brother-in-law Lloyd Tyson. In 1949, they moved to Tyndall, South Dakota, and Ben opened up Benny's Electric Service. Ben expanded by opening an appliance store in Tyndall, South Dakota in 1952. Hey ladies, Benny's Electric Service even offered a cooking school. But retail was not Ben's passion. Electrical wiring was. After a couple of years, Ben closed the store in 1954. Ben and Myrna's family started to grow, first with baby Carolyn, followed closely by Mary, Laura, and the twins, Bill and Bonnie. Christine, Tina, came along 10 years later. The Meinhardt family in 1968 at Minnetonka Community Church. Nineteen seventy two, nineteen seventy eight, nineteen eighty, Ben had the privilege of adding sons and daughters in law, married to Tom Clark in nineteen seventy four and was always the proud and loving father at each and every wedding. Meanwhile, Ben and Myrna added up the wedding anniversaries of their own. In 1994, after 46 years of marriage, Ben's beloved wife Myrna went to heaven after years of suffering with arthritis. She is still loved, remembered, and missed. We love you, Mom. In 1996, Ben married Donna Hassock, a family friend of 45 years. Ben wired the Hassock farm for electricity back in Tyndall, South Dakota. Ben kept on in the electrical business as a master electrician. He owned and operated Stemmer Electric in Excelsior, Minnesota, then All-Star Electric, first in Colorado Springs, Colorado, then in Long Lake, Minnesota. He retired in 2001 after 51 years. Meanwhile, the grandkids started to arrive. First grandson Clayton Clark was born in 1980. 
Then son Bill had the first granddaughter, Teresa, in 1983. Ben's mother, great grandma Laura, was as proud as could be. Teresa, Grandma Myrna, Grandpa Ben, and brothers Carson and Clayton Clark in 1986. Grandchildren were Jaden, Heather, Carson, Natalie, Brooke, Nick, and Ryan. Here are grandchildren Brooke, Clay, Ryan, Carson, and Nick. Son Bill, Grandpa Ben, and baby Kyle, the last grandchild and the only one to carry on the family name through Ben's kids. Ben's first great-granddaughter, Havana Clark, born to grandson Clayton. Ben continued to love his ever-expanding family and joined in whenever there was a family gathering. Ben moved around a lot. He and Myrna moved from Minnesota to South Dakota, onto the Los Angeles, California area, back to Minnetonka, Minnesota, two houses, then to Colorado Springs, Colorado. In 1977, Ben and Myrna moved back to the western Minneapolis suburbs of Long Lake, Maple Plain, Plymouth, and Orono. In 2001, Ben and Donna moved from Orono to Hopkins. In 2011, he moved to Litchfield and finally to Lakeside Healthcare Center in Dassel. Living in Colorado Springs offered wonderful opportunities to visit and camp in the mountains. Ben usually had cats as pets, but this Maple Plain farm they lived on came with a dog. Remember Blarney? Ben loved to travel. He'd been to almost every state, often by air, but usually by car. He drove thousands and thousands of miles across the country. Here, he crossed the Great Salt Flats in Utah in the 1970s. He saw the Great Redwood and Sequoia Forests in California and Lake Tahoe around Reno, Nevada. He traveled to numerous countries. Here, Myrna and Ben enjoyed Cancun, Mexico. Bouchard Gardens in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. In 1995, Ben traveled with daughter Tina and her husband Rond to Europe. They visited England, Holland, Germany, Switzerland, Liechtenstein, Austria, Italy, the Vatican, Monaco, and France. Here's Ben at the Tower Bridge in London and aboard a gondola in Venice. The three at the Colosseum in Rome, Italy, and the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France. Ben also traveled to Venezuela, Hong Kong, Tokyo, Japan, and the Philippines. In 2007, Ben and Donna went on an Alaskan cruise and tour. Ben loved adventure and liked to thrill. He hunted elk and deer, rode a motorcycle, and enjoyed snowmobiling and camping. Here he suited up for a snowmobile ride. Ben and his son Bill built a Benson gyrocopter in the early 1970s and Ben tried out an ultralight aircraft in the 1980s. Ben loved to fly. Sometimes he was even up for a little adventure on the dance floor. Ben was a man of projects, loving to build and work with his hands. Bill's daughter, Teresa, was the recipient of this little rocking chair. Sometimes the projects included rides with Grandpa. Ben loved swings. Remember the rope swing over the creek behind their Burwell drive home? 
Behind his Orno house, he built the tallest swing set ever, and it's still there. And he was the first to give it a try. In Tulsa, Oklahoma, he built a fort for his grandsons and their friends. Ben loved games and competition. For many years, he enjoyed pitching horseshoes and had his spot on church bowling leagues. He learned carpet ball and took second place in the 2007 Memorial Day Family Tournament at Camp Lebanon. Ben was game for anything. Bring on the challenge! Strategy games were always a favorite. And he played them as long as he could. How many of you lost to his 5-7-9 game where he left you taking the last card? But the ultimate game for Ben was cards. Here he taught the next generation how to play. Ben was a spiritual man who confessed Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. That was his self-proclaimed greatest legacy and a heritage he passed on to all of his family. Together, Ben and Donna continued to share the experiences of life and family. Between them, they had 11 children plus their spouses, 20 grandchildren plus spouses, and 11 great-grandchildren. Together, they attended church, entertained friends, enjoyed traveling, game playing, and camping. Meanwhile, Ben's eldest daughter, Carolyn Meinhart, and her husband, Jerry Fakey, lived on a horse farm in Dassel, Minnesota. Carolyn has now moved to Darwin, and Jerry lives in Ackerman of Litchfield. Daughter Mary Clark and husband Tom live in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Mary and Tom's family includes son Clayton, wife Vanessa, and Ben's great-grandchildren, Havana, Aubrey, Angelina, and twins, Leah and Scarlett. Here's son Carson and wife Sarah. Daughter Laura Meinhart lives in Seattle, Washington. Son Bill and his wife Kim live in Andover, Minnesota, with their three children, Natalie, Jaden, and Kyle. Teresa lives on the West Coast. Daughter Bonnie Hegland and her husband Neil live in Dassel, Minnesota. Bonnie's daughters are Heather and Brooke Frazee. Youngest daughter Tina Hanscom and her husband Ron live in Plymouth, Minnesota. Their sons are Ryan, Nick, and Tina's son David. and Ben was involved in all their lives.